Hello, hello, hello. As introduced in my previous video, I'm making a series about the best ways to deal with period pains. Last time, I investigated whether Feminax and specifically targeting painkillers are actually worth buying. So check out my previous video if you want to know the conclusions that I came to. Next up is the long-awaited sequel in the painkiller franchise, but before I get on with that, I have to get the disclaimer out of the way again. Once again, I'm not a doctor, I'm barely even an adult, so please, if you have particularly painful periods, please go to a legit doctor who might actually be able to help you. Also, when it comes to taking painkillers, please make sure you have no underlying health conditions that could make taking said drugs problematic. <sighs> That was fast that time. Alrighty then. Which works better against period pains? Ibuprofen or paracetamol? So paracetamol works in a different way to ibuprofen. I say this, but we're not actually 100% sure on how paracetamol works. It just works, so we're like, okay, cool. I trust you chemicals in the body, don't mess this one up. We do know some stuff though, and it's basically to do with pain signals in our body. When a part of our body gets damaged, it releases specific chemical signals. These signals send a message to our brain, which then tells us that we're in pain. Ibuprofen works by stopping these pain signals from being released in the first place. Fewer pain chemicals at the site of injury means that less pain is registered as existing there. On the other hand, it's thought that paracetamol works not by stopping these pain signals at the site of injury, but by stopping them in the brain. And so ultimately, the result is the same, that the pain is still not felt. That's the theory anyway. So when I was researching for this video online, yes, I actually do do research for these videos, I don't just blag it, amazing. I found that the general view is that ibuprofen works better than paracetamol against period pains. But I couldn't find much solid scientific backing for this. Sorry though, there is a student room poll from 2013 where they voted that ibuprofen works better, so that must mean it must be true. Okay, so apart from that solid bit of evidence, is there anything else that could explain why ibuprofen might work better than paracetamol? Well, in 2016, a scientific study was carried out. This study suggested that period pains might be related to inflammation. Science word, inflammation. It's been so long since I've done a science word. Welcome home. Inflammation is the name given to our body's response to injury and the pain it can cause is treated by ibuprofen. When an area of our body becomes inflamed by inflammation, our liver releases a marker into our bloodstream. It's basically a chemical that says, alert, alert, there's some inflammation. This study found more of this inflammation marker in women who experienced menstrual cramps suggesting that women who experience menstrual cramps have more inflammation. So this suggests there might be a link between inflammation and period pains. The Independent reported on this and said that scientists finally find out why menstruation hurts so much, calling this a groundbreaking study. I would like to reinstate a balance in the world and say that in this case, the independent need to calm down a bit. They're drawing pretty strong conclusions from what is quite a small amount of information. It's kind of like the journalism equivalent of someone kneeling down in front of you for whatever reason, but you assuming that they must be proposing. Like, no, calm down. And like, this kind of overexcited conclusion jumping reporting happens so much that I might make a set of t-shirts that scientists can wear that simply say, we aren't 100% sure yet. It would save a lot of time and stop a lot of people's hopes from getting too high. And you know, I get why papers do it, but sometimes it can be a bit damaging when someone thinks like a cure's been found, but it hasn't really. But anyway, I digress, I could go on about this for ages. The point is, is there are various flaws in this study that mean we can't draw such strong conclusions from it. And if you want to know what they are, just ask. But the final overall point is, if this study is correct and inflammation relates to period pains, then it makes sense that ibuprofen works better than paracetamol because ibuprofen targets inflammation, whereas paracetamol does not. Phew. 
I went around the houses a bit then, but I feel like everything was important to say. You know what? I should have just stuck with the student room survey. <laughs> so what's the summary of all this? Ibuprofen possibly works better than paracetamol, but whatever drugs you choose to take, just remember, I am not a doctor. My surname is Ward, but that is where the connections end. And that's also where this video ends. Yes, hello, it's me, Other Jumper Sophie, I'm back. You may have seen me in such films as the beginning of this video and the end of the previous one. That was my thoroughly scientific scientific delve into the battle between ibuprofen and paracetamol on the field of period pain. If you enjoyed that video, why not give it a share? If you liked it, then like it. If you subscribed it, then subscribe it. <laughs> And if you want to know about other and potentially more natural ways to help treat period pains, then keep an eye out for my future videos, where I'm going to be discussing using heat, diet and exercise to try and get rid of those cramps. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. And remember to keep asking questions, especially when it comes to reading science-based newspaper articles. What's that coming over the hill? Is it a summary? Yes, it's a summary. Pause it and read it if you want to. Thank you. Say it loudly for the people at the back. Oh. <laughs>